South Africa and Afghanistan in their first match of the Twisty Test Championship as we head into the fifth day of play here today. It's Zazai and Jamal unbeaten at the crease for Afghanistan as they are 5 for 280, chasing 570 to win this match. Obviously, Jamal on 93 is going to be our main focus this morning. How many runs can he pile on and how long can... This pair survive. It's going to be absolutely massive and imperative that they do if Afghanistan are going to either win the game or hold on for a draw. And, oh, we've seen a run out early on on day five. This is absolutely devastating. I mean, it's it's been referred to the third umpire, but, it, gee, it, the fact that it got this close is not looking good. And it is going to be given... So, Nasir Jamal run out for 95 by Temba Bavuma. 284 for 6. And that could be the one wicket that just breaks the back of the Afghanistan batsman. South Africa require a further four wickets for victory. It's Rashid Khan out there at the moment. We know he's, he's exciting with the bat, but this is a bit of a different circumstance for him. He's going to have to bat out a long period of time if there any chance at holding on for a draw. There's an edge and taken. And the other set batsman's as I go. So day five started perfectly for the South Africans. Two early wickets, the two set batsmen dismissed. And they need just a further three wickets to get their first victory of this test championship and put themselves in a good position moving forward. Usman Shinwari to the crease. Dane Patterson doing a nice job. Oh, that's a swing and a miss. Just beating the outside edge there. Oh, this time he's got a little bit onto the pad and the man at short legs taking it. Jeez, he's a big boy at short leg. Absolute massive unit. There's just a fraction of an inside edge there and it goes onto the pad. And the catch is taken, and all of a sudden, it's all falling apart for Afghanistan. They're eight wickets down. South Africa, two wickets from victory. Aiden Markram with a good catch in there. Yep, catch and it's just, uh, it's almost uh, just time will tell for how far these two will survive before the game is over. There's five overs till the new ball. Gee, there's a swing and a miss there. But they might not need it. Hendricks steaming in. Gets the edge. And De Kock takes the catch. They're one wicket closer. And just one wicket away. From getting their first win of this tournament. It was all set up really in their first innings. But a massive second innings. Has put them in this super strong position. They're just one wicket from victory. It's almost inevitable now. That's South Africa will win this test match. Zahir Khan will join Rashid out in the middle. And there's just one wicket to go for the South Africans. Can Hendricks get it on this next delivery? No, he lets it through to the keeper. Oh, and even Rabada's bowling nicely here. They're just one wicket away. I wonder if Rashid Khan will pull out a few shots. To Rabada, there's nine deliveries till the second new ball. Yep. Oh, it's short, and he's taking it on, Rashid. He's happy to do that, get himself the single. Oh, they want two. Gee, that could be a run out as well. Oh, they're going up for it, and if this is the way the innings ends, it basically will sum up how Afghanistan have played this game. Really poor running between the wickets, and this one looks like it's going to be out as well. Rabada had all the time in the world to take the bales off. And at the end of it all, South Africa with a massive 264 run victory. It was a pretty quick day five. It didn't take them too long. They got it all done in about 12 overs, I think. Getting those wickets very early. Here's the wicket of Shinwari as he just nudged it on. To the man at short leg. For the edge by Amadzi. Was taken. 
by the keeper. And finally, Rashid Khan, or Zahir Khan actually, was run out here. And at the end of the day, the end of the match, South Africa win by 264 runs. They get their campaign in this Test Championship off to a fly-up. Head to the top of Group B, winning the only game so far. But that's it for today. See you next week for the game between Pakistan and England. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.